Welcome! In today's video I'm going to talk about movements inside Lumion Pro. My name is Katerina, I'm a garden designer and I see you next. Welcome guys to another video from Garden Design Tools. This video is dedicated to movement possibilities inside Lumion Pro. So this is a quick example of an animation I've done for a project, for a client's project, and is using the advanced movement um, effect inside the animations in Lumion, okay? So let's just go through Lumion, just quickly go through the po movement possibilities for your project, and in my opinion, when could you use it, okay? So if normally I don't actually use a lot of movement inside my project because I only add people when I'm doing specific things like uh, maybe showing scale to a client or um, I only add cars but then more in static mode in the, to show a garage space for example something like this in my projects but if you want to use movements if you want a, a, a more through animation imagine that you're doing something more urban in the urban landscape and you want movement you want to show that um, urban environment there is a lot of techniques inside lumion that you can do not only mass movement for example of cars okay in a road with the traffic um, movement uh, but as well as people and uh, and the objects la as layers if you want to drop in a layer okay so let's just go through them inside lumion so this is one project as i'm just going to quickly show you i don't have a road but you know imagine that you have a road here uh, so I'm just, we're just going to go through. So in, in, in Lumion you have uh, models like uh, this guy here that is already walking, okay? L like this woman here, she's in a swimming mode, okay? So when you're doing your animation inside Lumion, this is the perfect characters to, for you to, to just show them moving around, okay? Swimming around the swimming pool if you're doing a quick animation of this of this area. So let's just go through it. Uh, I'm just going to quickly do a, a video just to show you the movement possibilities after as an effect. So in the animation tab, in effects, you have mass move, move, advanced move, and sky drop. So that's the main movements you have inside Lumion. So when you're going to use one or the other, okay? So mass move is perfect, not in this uh, clip here, but if you're showing cars movement so, okay so i'm just going to go through i'm not going to actually do this i'm just going to show you a quick clip with the cars so you imagine you have this clip here so it's just the same frame okay i just wanted to show you the cars moving okay so i go into add mass move go into edit and you start just deciding where you want your path okay so basically imagine that you're building a road okay so this is the the way the cars are gonna move okay um hopefully it doesn't finish there but you can just you know this is just a quick example of how you can do okay and you have the path width you know imagine the width of a road and you have in just one direction you know, if you want to be really precise, you'll do two paths, one for each uh, direction of the car. But, you know, I'm just going to quickly, um, you have toggle here, dual direction, okay? So you see here, um, like this, okay? That's what you want, okay? You have one direction, the other direction, and after you toggle for dual direction. And you have the car speeds or the models, okay? You can do this for crowds, for example, of work, okay? So, um... Yeah, it's just a quick example of how you can do mass move. So as you can see, of course, you'll study this a little bit. Okay, so as you can see, the car goes around. Okay, imagine that it is flicking a little bit, but it's just in the in here in the preview. So this is how you can do a movement of in the road, for example. Okay, this is a very quickly quick way to show you mass movement is pretty cool for traffic. Um, I rarely use it again because I don't normally do very big urban uh, landscape projects, but it's definitely something you can use uh, with a lot of cars. Okay, so any model of cars. So imagine that I'm going now and I add another car there. Okay, so imagine I'm going to add here another car. Okay, so I'm just going to go like this, just more or less. 
Of course, I will have a road here, not like in the grass. They're basically now in the grass. Okay, so I'm going to go to my animation again. And as you can see, is here. They are both at the same speed, okay? So this is pretty cool because once you've done it, you, you can add things to that path, to that uh, traffic, okay? So that's one movement. Let's go here now. Another one, and this is the one um, more basic one, let's say, it's move, okay? So basically move, it's you can choose the start position and the end position of your model, okay? So let's go here. You have the start position. Let's just go to the move, okay? You can go move vertically and imagine that you want something starting to drop in place there is another move on in uh, drop but if you want something sliding something rotating this is something to do as well okay so i want this guy to start there and in the end i want him like this okay so as you can see now is moving okay so that's a pretty simple technique you can use um, and when he go, when he, he ends the movement, it comes back. Okay, so just have the, the, uh, have that in consideration when you're doing it. Okay, so another thing you can do with move, and th this is you can do this with everything. As you can see, everything that has the the circle here, okay, you can't do with fine nature. Um, for example, a fine nature. As you can see, I can't select that lemon tree. That's the fine uh, detail nature uh, collection. Uh, but I can, I can, if you go to start, I can have this um, in a way, for example, and this is a silly move, but I just wanted to show you that you can do it. And after I will have them in, 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 in here. So let's just quickly show, uh, see that. So as you can see, the furniture is rotating. So if you start uh, seeing your creativity working, you know, there's things you can do with this and you might have something in your mind uh, that you can show this, something rotating slowly or if you, if you have a commercial project, a window and it's something rotating, I don't know, you know, imagine what you can do with it, okay? So that's a pretty cool little move. They are very simple. You can come and uh, drop it as well. Imagine that you want the furniture showing uh, dropping or sliding into place. Okay, sliding is pretty cool as well. Getting things connected into place. Um, so it's a pretty cool uh, movement. And after add effects, you have uh, advanced mode. So this is the one I use the most. It's a bit like move, um, but I, it's it's a bit more more um, you control more the path let's say okay so I'm just gonna show you and I'm gonna choose here the swimmer so basically you have here the time frame of your animation okay and I'm showing you here where she's starting so you have this little key here uh, the time and is starting there so after two seconds I want her more or less here after a few more seconds so basically i'm choosing how i want her to 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 swim okay and a cool thing is because i'm going to move her here she uh, lumion is going to rotate automatically my swimmer okay so i don't have to be uh, worried that uh, she's not going to rotate properly when she's swimming and something like this okay so that's basically it so you can see here it's starting rotating and i'm gonna put her to finish uh, in the same place but here i want a bit i want her to rotate a little bit more this way okay so let's just see how it works okay let's see the, the animation so as you can see here you have to be careful uh, because it can control the times, okay, Ta in here the time offset regarding and do it a bit slower because you don't want people to be swimming too fast or walking too fast, okay? But that's pretty cool to, to be a pretty cool move to show someone swimming, for example, or uh, someone doing a specific path. I could do the guy walking through a specific path, okay? Something like this is pretty cool, okay? 
Um, and you have a bit more control of where they're going and where they're finishing, okay? Uh, be careful uh, for them to don't go through things, because if you're not careful with movements inside Lumion, uh, you can get people going through buildings or going through walls that you don't want that. Uh, but this is a pretty cool way to show you uh, movement and people um, using the space. Let's go, go to the sky, sky drop. That's the last movement I want to talk about. And basically this one, so as you can see, you have a lot of these uh, forbidden um, things going on. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to sky drop elements. Okay, so in here I could go, imagine, imagine that I want all this furniture. In here it's, it's funny because fine detail now I have this. I could drop fine detail, but it didn't work at me, the movement. That's funny. I never realized that. Um, uh, this is a guy. I don't want the guy dropping, but I want my bits of furniture dropping. Okay, so let's just go how that looks right now. So you don't have any furniture. Oh, I forgot fire pit, fireplace. You can you see that that's pretty cool effect. Of course, you have offset, so you can do it. Uh, you can change the time, okay? You can change the time that uh, the things drop, um, and you can do the duration and the spacing as well, okay? The spacing is the spacing between the uh, bits of furniture, so I'm just going to show you quickly again. So if I do a bit more spacing and the duration less. Okay, so I have already things dropping. It's going to give you a bit more space. And that jump thing, you can customize it as well. So that's a pretty cool way to show things dropping. You can do this with layers. Imagine that um, this drop uh, and the, the move tool are pretty cool, showing some of the... Um, uh, layers of uh, planting, for example, okay? If you want to show the client how you're going to implement the garden, uh, what things you're going to plant first, what's our construction first and after the planting, you can show all this in an animation if you go all through layers, okay? And you can drop one layer after the other, after the other. So that's a pretty cool animation. That's some things you see, uh, if you've seen in Lumin animations before of things coming together, that's how they do it, okay? So I hope you enjoyed it. It was a quick video just to show you the, the possibilities of movement inside Lumion. I'm going to do uh, next week one for Twin Motion as well that has some other uh, specifications. But uh, I hope you enjoy it and let me know. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Bye bye, guys. See you next one.